Hey Hoopers! This is just a quick tutorial on the reverse weave. This is what it looks like and here's how you do it. You, It's the opposite of the forward weave which is a thumb lead. This is going to be a pinky lead at all times. So we have the hoop to our side, whichever hand, doesn't matter. Um, our thumb, our palm is up facing the sky. P uh, pinky is towards the front and our thumb is shooting backwards. Okay, now we want to pinky lead this the whole time and we can, uh, it helps for me as a guide to think, to start off, you have an X in front of you and you want to go from the bottom of that X, pinky leading, going up from the bottom of the X to the top of the X. Then we bring the hoop all the way behind us and we finish that X from the bottom to the top. Again, my pinky is leading. So we just keep going. Bottom of the X, top of the X, pinky lead around to the back, bottom of the X to the top of the X. Now as you've got that movement, just get it going a little more fluidly, uh, loosen that grip up, and you just want to have it lightly in the fingers and think about having a being in a hallway and you don't want that hoop to hit the sides of the walls. So loose grip and pinky lead at all times. That is the basic instruction for reverse weave. I do see students sometimes as they go up, they twist their wrist. That happens a lot. So just concentrate on pinky lead, pinky lead, pinky lead, pinky lead, and back. And then pinky lead, pinky lead, pinky lead. And that should help you. And I did this tutorial because I had somebody asking me to teach, uh, to have a tutorial on windmill. And this, uh, that requires a reverse weave kind of in the front to back direction. So I thought I'd get this up in case anybody doesn't know how to do that. Anyway, hope this was helpful. And if you have any suggestions, just let me know. Happy hooping.